Welcome to Excel Subtotals and Consolidations. I'm Trainer Lori. What is Excel Subtotals and Consolidations? This is another way to do uh, math without ever having to do any math, essentially. Uh, we can uh, instantly group data, sum data, and then and you didn't have to write one formula to make it happen. The first thing that we want to look at is data and subtotals. What this allows us to do is to take all these salespeople and find out what their subtotal is and then have a grand total, all with a couple of mouse clicks. No formulas at all. The trick is to make sure that you sort it first. So I, because I want it, uh, Mary and then Rosa and Scott, I want to be able to see their subtotals. We have to sort first and make sure you have a header. If you don't have a header at the top that's bold, uh, Excel will not recognize it. Then we go to data subtotal. When you do that, it'll ask at each change in, and you can change that. By default, it will be the first field. In that case, it would be entry number, but I changed it to salesperson because we want to see at each change in salesperson, use the sum function. Now you can use count, average, max, min, product, but we want to sum, and that is the default. And then where do you want to add the subtotal to? By default, it, it showed the first column that had numbers in it. But I also wanted to add it to the second column, so January and February. And so now it will show both. And a good one to uh, make sure is checked. It, by default, it is checked. But if you want it changed, you can. And that is to show the summary below the data. If you would prefer, you can have the summary above the data. So those are, that's all you have to do. And once you've selected these, you can uh, use them over and over again without having to make any selections. You also have the option to remove all. So if you need to add, Mary had maybe five more sales and you wanted to add it, don't try to add it within the grouping because you can't. Uh, what you do is remove all, add all the new people, and then hit the button again. How easy is it? It's oh, a couple of clicks and you're done. It does add these great grouping levels. And if you'll notice the uh, one, two, three buttons, if I click number two, it will only show me the subtotals for each of the people. If I click one, it will show me the grand total. How wonderful is that? You can use that now to link somewhere else, to uh, show it somewhere else. Or maybe this is the only thing you cared about. I just want to see the total. But you can always click those buttons again to uh, see the subtotals, or three to see all of them. So the key points is it requires headers. Make sure that you have a header, and Excel knows it's a header if it's bold and at the top. Sort it first, and then to add data, make sure you remove the subtotals, add your data, and then hit it again. And then use those grouping levels to hide or reveal your data. The next one is pay special using the operation. And this is how to add, subtract, multiply, or divide without formulas. For example, let's say I want a year to date. So I would copy my January information and put it in my year to date. Well, that one's pretty easy. I simply copy and paste because there's no more data to add. But now I have February. So if I want year to date February, then I want to take my January year to date and put it under year to date. So I would copy and paste again. So that's all we have to do to set it up. Then. I want to copy February, the information in February, and I want to paste it over the year to date. I don't want to just paste it, but I, now I'm going to use my paste special. So I've copied it, and then instead of pasting, just control V or however you normally paste, I want you to right click, and that's where we'll find paste special. We have lots of options in there, but we want the paste special option. When we click that, Generally, we use the uh, the top portion, but now we want to come down here to the operation, and in this case, we want to add, and then click OK. When we paste it over the uh, year to date, it automatically adds the year to date that we copied here originally, we put in there, and then the February that we added using the paste special function. So now the answer is 43. How cool is that? No formula is involved at all. Copy it first, and then choose your operation. The next one we're looking at, our final one, is consolidation. Why consolidate? Because it quickly summarizes and it creates a master worksheet. For example, let's say that I have department one, department two, department three, and I have sales for each of those uh, departments 
January, February, March, if you were going to f total it all up, it would be so complex, all the formulas that you would need. Uh, plus, you'd have to make sure everything was organized the same and it was essentially exactly the same. And you can see here, it is not organized the same, yet it will find it automatically. We don't have to do any math at all. First, you'll want to prepare your worksheet. To do that, you'll make sure it has the same structure, the same header, essentially. Now, your data does not have to be in the same order. In fact, it doesn't even have to be the exact same data. And in this case, it's e-sales, right? And you can see that I'm in alphabetical order by product. And notice there is no Kelly P in here, okay? So, in, for West Sales, we're going to add that because they do a lot of selling of Kelly P. You can see Kelly P has been added and it's not in sort order. In fact, it's by product order instead. It doesn't matter. It will recognize the data as long as it's exactly spelled the same way. Tea Time Chocolate Biscuits with a capital T and a space and all that, then it will recognize it and it will find all the numbers that uh, pertain to that product and add them for you. So we've prepared our worksheets. Now we go to a new worksheet. In this case, it's just another worksheet here. And I put my cursor in the top left corner. Okay, that's called the keystone. And then I go to Data, Consolidate. And it will say what function would you like to use, our normal cast of characters, and then reference. And the reference is where are, am I pulling the data from? Now, notice I have the Collapse button option and the Browse button option. Browse means I can go to a different workbook, but I just want to find it within this workbook, so I use my Collapse button. So now it collapsed, and I can go to my East Sales and click and drag over it, and then I collect, uh, click my Collapse button again, and I have to add this one. Now that it's this is my first reference, and I want to click the Add button to add it. In fact, I'm going to add uh, all four, so eventually I will have four references there. Make sure you also select, this is not default, but you want to select top row and left column if you want the left column and the top row to appear. If you don't, don't click those, but the labels really make a lot of sense. You definitely would want that. And then click OK. It added the this label and it added this label but it does not add this label for some reason so you might need to uh, clean it up some but with just a little bit of cleanup it did all that work for you you can also use it with pivot tables so it's a great tool to take all the data that you have without ever doing one formula format the sheets the same start in a new sheet and make sure you fix that keystone if you want it that's all for today thank you see you next time